This is BBC News. These are the latest headlines in the UK and around the world. A huge fire has completely destroyed the South African National Assembly. A man has been arrested on suspicion of arson. Two people are killed during mass anti-coup protests in Sudan. And in the last half an hour, the country's beleaguered Prime Minister, Abdullah Hamdok, resigns. US medical chief Dr Fauci warns of the danger of a hospitalisation surge due to a large number of Covid cases. Surgeon infections affect travel. Over 4,000 flights are cancelled worldwide. And the Kenyan anthropologist and conservationist Richard Leakey, famous for all his fossil discoveries that shed light on human evolution, has died aged 77. Hello, welcome if you're watching here in the UK or around the world. I'm Geetha Goramuthi. The South African authorities say that a massive fire inside the Parliament building in Cape Town has completely destroyed the National Assembly. Police have arrested a 49-year-old suspect and charged him with theft and arson. The building was empty for the New Year holidays and there have been no casualties. President Cyril Ramaphosa, who earlier visited the scene, described the fire as devastating. Our correspondent Nomsa Maseko has more from Cape Town. An historic building on fire. Plumes of smoke engulfing South Africa's parliament. More than 60 firefighters battling to extinguish the blaze. The fire started on the third floor offices and quickly spread to the National Assembly chamber. The damage is extensive and there are fears that some parts of the structure, which was built in the late 1800s, could collapse. The entire parliamentary complex is severely damaged, uh, waterlogged and smoke damaged. Um, so there's going to be damage extensively. The roof above the old uh, assembly chamber is, the old assembly hall is completely gone. Many high-profile South African politicians, including President Cyril Ramaphosa, were in Cape Town for the funeral of Archbishop Desmond Tutu, which took place at St. George's Cathedral, a block away from the Parliament precinct. This is devastating news. It's a terrible and devastating event, particularly after we gave the Arch what I would call the best send-off yesterday. The minister responsible for government infrastructure said firefighters managed to contain the blaze from spreading further. This is a very sad day for our democracy because parliament is the home of our democracy and parliament is also a strategic a key point. No injuries have been reported and there's no indication of what may have started it. Fire and rescue service officials have said it could take longer to put it out completely due to carpets and wooden floors. Nomsa Masego, BBC News, Cape Town. Breaking news.